and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another edition of civilization six coming at you with embracing wilhelmina that's right ladies and gentlemen it's the second edition of the embracing series and this one will include the embracing of wilhelmina and all things that she is glorious in i am super excited as as you know this is a custom map the save file for this map will be available in the uh, in the information down below in the comment section, just below the comment section. You know what I'm talking about. It's in the information section. Uh, so you'll be able to get the seed for this if you ever wanted to go ahead. And it's not a seed, it's like save one file, basically. Uh, in fact, you know what, to double check. Uh, let me go like this. And we'll just call it Embracing Wilhelmina, turn one or something, and then I'll know for sure that you guys have it. Wilhelmina, turn one. There we go. Now I know I have it for sure, and you guys will be able to see that file down below. Um, and I, yeah, this is fantastic. I, like I said, custom map, lots of planes and flood planes, uh, I should say, and marsh, lakes, inlets, you name it, we got it. Rivers all over the place. The colder the better. So it should be really good. Um, got myself a real solid capital here. Nothing OP, fantastic, unbelievable, but pretty good. I've uh, set things up to be able to embrace culture as much as possible because we do want to try and get, obviously, to the polder as fast as possible. So there's that. And yeah, so that's kind of the idea. So thank you for joining me. And let's uh, not waste any time. Let's plop down our city and do our thing. Sailing boost just like that. We are, of course, running into that culture right away. Let's head north with him. We will start on a scout. Seven turns on growth, six turns on the scout, work in the culture, nine turns on code of laws. Let's jump right into uh, animal husbandry. The animal husbandry will be uh, real nice to work uh, the truffles here, and we've got a pasture to do here, and stuff like that. We can get a farm so that we can get onto our silks pretty quick. Probably go into pottery and then into irrigation. Early early uh, campus would be nice as well. Obviously getting all of our boosts is, is the ideal thing, so getting a builder Getting three tiles improved. Hopefully we can find another continent. Uh, build that uh, campus would be good if we can get it done. And uh, pop six shouldn't be too much trouble. And meet some city states. So if we can get all that, get a really good start on the culture tree, would be great. And welcome back. UET Cali. Yes, I uh, I do have plans to build UET Cali. It would be really good, obviously, uh, to boost a lot of these lake tiles that we're going to have. Absolutely. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We need to discuss the intro outside video recording. I don't know what you're talking about, Catface. You have to be... I have zero clue. Uh, okay, so there you go. There's uh, turn one. I think it's time to click the buttons. And do the things. And how convenient is that? Kumasi is in the house with some culture right out of the gate uh, to work that code of laws so conveniently. Uh, v Nima, how you doing? Only channel I know and one that is coming that I'm coming back to oh regularly to learn how to play television is the channel keep up with great work dude oh you see I mean how does that not make your day it's Canada day and people in here making my Canada day thank you very much for the kind words Vinima all right next turners let's go let's grab that goody hut recon unit oh baby that's sick. <laughs> Am I going to get six more recon units this game like I did yesterday? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's head this way. I guess we'll have one guy go this way. We'll go that way, I guess. Sounds good enough. Um, I 
it will take forever to get past these warriors up here. I'm probably just going to turn around and come back, I think. Culture is flowing oh so nicely. Uh, let's make sure we're still work, work on the culture. I was going to say, it's probably it's probably switched to the gold. We want to keep working on the culture. Even though the gold's nice, work on that culture is what it's all about. <clears throat> Goody hat and culture, yes. All good things, all good things. So, boom, just like that. Uh, I'm going to go survey until we see barbs. And we'll God King to start working on our Pantheon as quick as we can. Uh, we'll come back here. And we'll get to work on... I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're super fast on culture rate of the gate. Feels, feels good, man. Bold underlining in Twitch. What is that, like, top five ways to get yourself banned? Here comes that scoot. And this guy will go this way. And maybe head... Actually, I might have him head down the river. Check that out. Um, let's get a turn into the monument before we go settler. Go there. Go for the camp pantheon. <laughs> I'd love a faith generating pantheon if we could get it. Um, it's frustrating not having a faith generating pantheon. So it'd be nice. So we got rivers flowing down through here. Uh, lots of low-lying flood plains and marshland in and around the area. Uh, there's a free envoy. Ba ba booey. Have my warrior just stick around in the uh, in the space. Uh, let's see. Send envoy. No, we're not going to send the envoy right now. That's fine. Um, what's come you want? Earn a great writer. That's gonna be a while. Okay, we'll keep an eye on this number here. Obviously, we're gonna want to. Feels like that's taking forever. Uh, I don't want to send the envoy. Next turn. It's Zaventa. What's their ability? The Colossal Heads. Colossal Heads. That could be some Fate Generation too. You're going to wait there. You're coming over here. But as I headed into the heart of Pio Pio Tahi, as discussed yesterday. Feeling, That's hilarious. Stone circles. Came rushing back. No. No stone way. circles for you. Boost to astrology. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Klauswad's pretty solid. He's got that faith going, that's for sure. Uh, you're going to skip your next turn. Like this. Next turn. I kind of want to head. Well, just whatever. We'll go this way. Another silk. Let's 
Stone Circle sub 200 win. <laughs> hey, you doing, Doris? Welcome back, bud. Uh, this guy has a promotion. I can't do it now. Foreign trade. No dogs in heaven. Then I'm going to switch off for craftsmanship. It's going to be tricky. Um, unless I get a builder here very soon. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go... Speaking of which, another continent. Head back out of there because that's a dead end. Uh, I never seem to make the most of wonders. Uh, well, we have a Wonder Start series going on right now. There was, there's literally two that we've done so far. The first one's up on the YouTubes as we speak. There's a second one going up next week. We did that yesterday. Might help you out. Uh, horses, there you go. And let's get into pottery. Could really use some gold. The gold's coming in much faster there now. Um, how much is that first builder? 200, eh? Oof. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get that. Although what I could do, this is now, oh, I actually need one more turn here. And then I could always get into starting this one in order to get that going. Let's go ahead and grab that. Finish that last turn. I thought that was done. Um, most of the time, about 12, most of the time. I used to actually be a little bit more like towards a slinger or a warrior. Um, just playing on deity to be able to have a little bit more offense early, but... There's too much value from having a scout and going out and, and finding goody huts and getting first meets and f like finding things that will help you get a golden age early or, you know, various things that can happen. That's the positive aspect of uh, foreign trade. Uh, I'm going to keep this on and speed that up as fast as we can. I'm going to keep that on as well. What I can do is pump some turns into this while we try to wait on craftsmanship. Uh, I'm going to jump up there, a bit of a trek through there. Uh, that'll be a hell of a campus right there. Or these guys basically fulfill uh, the first X of uh, the 4X formula. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, when you think about it. Uh, okay, so, like I said, I'm going to keep these together, right? Yeah. Next turn. Continue to clear this out. Keep the warrior home. Uh, pottery in six. Why game? Why me? I don't need another scout. I need a builder. Oh my god, nice map for a mausoleum. Everybody in their mausoleum. Um, yes, obviously, uh, 
the whole point of uh, Wilhelmina is to have uh, lots of shallow tiles, so you could potentially do a mausoleum. It's happening again, Moondoggy, and it's starting to trigger me quite intensively. Head down towards that. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, I'm, I, it's so weird, I just, I'm so focused on certain things, and I, I, I did the monument all the way to the end. I mean, it's not a bad idea, necessarily, to, to push that culture, but the plan was not to go all the way to the end with the, the monument, it was just to do one turn, and then I just completely blanked. Completely blanked. And didn't switch it over. There's gold. Let's purchase a builder, a pantheon. So I really feel like um, Goddess of the Harvest, or Goddess of the Harvest. I wish a go uh, Earth Goddess is probably our best bet. I feel like we've got some really potentially strong tiles obviously we have a lot of water around and a lot of trees this map was intentionally built with trees only and not marsh or sorry not jungle because i was trying to embrace the whole idea of what the netherlands would look like right floodplains um lakes marsh low-lying areas you know lots of trees no jungles no scout woohoo take 40 gold so, uh, that was kind of the idea. So, when it comes to... If you take a look here at our appeal, we uh, we have a lot of really nice tiles for appeal. Uh, obviously, we have marsh and floodplains are going to hurt us. So, there's going to be spots where it's no good. But there's also places where there's plenty of trees and water. Um, anytime you're on the coast or near mountains, um, Goddess of Appeal is fantastic. Uh, obviously, like depending on what you're doing here, like, if you ever built quarries, you'd be starting to hurt that. Obviously, there's rivers helping as well. Uh, you know, you ever mine that copper, you're going to obviously hurt a lot of tiles in the area. Uh, and as you come down here, obviously, it's going to hurt. So, great appeal right now. And, and it's definitely a no-brainer, I think, to grab that. Uh, the Goddess of Appeal. Plus two faith on tiles with breathtaking appeal. Found this pantheon. That is going to help a lot with uh, faith generation for sure. Uh, we do not have it out here, apparently. Charming only. Yep. Oh, this is hurting it for sure, yeah. This is... Yeah, okay. Good, good. Good, good, good. Look at all the faith. Oh, my God. We are going to have some fun with that faith, let me tell you. Um, we're heading down to the barb hut. Too many hills from the Netherlands, you know. You... Well, yeah, the thing is, I've, I've got... It's mostly flat, actually. I have some hills in the capital, because I didn't want a capital that was completely flat. And then there's some areas where I have some hills, um, like, in and around where I could settle a city. I have two or three hills here and there. But for the most part, you get a lot of this. I built. I tried to do as much of this as I could while keeping the map playable, um, production-wise. So, again, like, lots of this. Lots of flat areas. Um, if I did no hills, then the game would take 300 turns to get the polders and, and be able to actually do them and get things to work, right? So. The boost to archery. Yeah, if you removed the marsh, yeah. I wouldn't mind being able to work. I got to, well, I definitely have to work the marsh uh, for the boost, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to work this. 
for a couple more turns. I gotta remember to keep an eye on that. Uh, I've always hated how the dark green is better than the bright green. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I guess so. Yeah, the brighter, the better. Yeah. Um, uh, population. Still not a builder to be named, but working this for the growth. Scout. Next turn. They must feel happy. There's pottery. We'll get into irrigation because we are going to have the boost to that very soon. Pop up here. Nan Medal. There's political philosophy in the books. What did I get from that goodie hat? Did anybody see? Uh, send envoy. No, I think we're good right now. Um, next turn I switch. Is this a culture game? Uh, it's it's a no. It's not a culture, science, religion, or domination game. Uh, if you do the game command in chat, you'll see exactly what it is. Or you can read the title: "Embracing Wilhelmina." It is the embracing of the Holy Lady of Wilhelmina. Uh, take there. It's shocking, Moondoggy. It's it's absolutely shocking. When you get a war game, um, about three weeks ago, was it Pop again? Oh my God! It was Pop again. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? We're gonna be Pop five before the settler's done. I want to lock that in, though. Yeah, let's just lock in all the tiles we want. Oops. Uh, early Empire, switch off next turn. <laughs> I should just have I should just have that command pop up in chat every five comments. You hope Shock is in this game? I hope Shock is in this game too, because he's got the best music in the game. His his music is glorious. <clears throat> Dwarf's shame sorry, what's a shame, Dwarf? Oh, there's some space up here, I gotta go check it out. Uh yeah, I should go there. Your comment was a shame? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shock is pretty peaceful. You want John Kirk? Uh, Shock is Shock is actually pretty great. Uh, Tomb Raider, what's going on? Thank you very much for that. Welcome in, buddy. So we're coming off of that. We're gonna pop into there. That's awful kind of you, buddy. Tier 1 scrabbing up. <clears throat> How goes the uh, the multiplayer? I, uh, I've been wa I've actually been watching quite a bit of your multiplayers the last little while. It's, uh, it's distracting when I need a distraction because I just get entranced. In fact, on Saturday, I was watching you on Saturday, 
and I was I couldn't get focused on building the or making the tutorial I wanted to build. So I'm like, let me just see who's online. I'm like, oh, I'll just watch. I'll just watch Tomb Raider kick some people's asses in some multiplayer. And uh, that was a fun game to watch until until somebody decided to declare war. And then, oh, my God, everybody wants to CC. Oh, my God. I thought we were just simming. And everybody just bailed the moment the game turned into uh, the potential for war. But, uh, no, it's, I just get entranced watching the speed of it. It's really fun to watch, actually. Uh, you can do Twitch Prime subs. Absolutely, you can. Uh, map looks cool. Nice job. Thank you, buddy. It, I spent a, quite a long time. It, it's It's got some really cool vibes down here, but I tried to uh, embrace the, uh, the Netherlands as best I could. Hopefully when we get to polders, we'll have some really sexy things going on as well. And uh, hopefully it's entertaining for people to watch. Uh, 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 I can't get across. Let me just go like that. And... Go like that. You remember that game? Yeah. It was a good one. It was fun to watch. And then it was just like... And you you had actually made the comment a few times like, man, everybody's just simming. Like, was, nobody's got any military at all. And then a few turns later, somebody declares war on somebody. And it's like, well, I'm irrelevant now, so why am I even here? <laughs> like, I just might as well CC because I didn't know you were going to attack me. Heaven forbid. Um, what am I thinking? I guess I work this because it's too soon to that. Head towards that barb camp. Take a look up there. The big question is, can you beat the, yes, the AI to Yui? Yes. I, getting science is going to be key. I, I almost never get Yui or even generally try for it because it's so hard. Um, uh, where the hell is it? Is it not? It shows you how much I, I ever go for Yui. Oh, there it is there. <clears throat> I knew it was in here somewhere. Military tactics. Yeah. I'm going to have to get my science going big time <laughs> and race to that thing and chop it out. I could chop it in here, I guess. Uh, this is what it uh, says. Twitch Prime subscriptions convert to a uh, recurring subscription to keep your benefits. After your Twitch Prime subscription ends, you won't be charged uh, until July 1st. Oh! Um, I need to read your previous comment. Rory Hart, Rory Hart, Rory Hart. It's red. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think you actually have to click on a button, old dude, for that to happen. I, I don't know. I think you actually have to click on a button for that to happen. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the Twitch Prime is is feels broken. It always seems to mess up for me, and I don't know why. Uh, my Moondoggy, the one I, I did, I do my Twitch Prime on Moondoggy, and it always seems to be broken for me. I don't know what uh, what it is about it, but it always seems to be broken for me, and it's annoying. Like, I, I I'm in his chat. I'm in his room literally every day that he streams like five six days a week and somehow my twitch prime ran out and i lost my streak even though i was in there it never gave me the option to renew my twitch prime until it when it finally gave me the option i renewed it and i had lost the streak so like i was just like it, at no time was it giving me the opportunity to actually renew it until the streak was over so i don't know if they're trying to get people to pay money and in, instead of the twitch prime but it seems awfully Jeff Bezos shady to me, one way or another. 
That, <laughs> that's just because moon doggy things. The one before that? Eh, I thought about it, moon dog. I thought about reading that one, and then I thought, I don't think I will. Rip great breath. Top of the screen says continue sub ends today. Yeah, I I'm not 100% sure. I don't know the answer. I wish I knew the answer. I don't know the answer. Yeah, it's exactly what they want. I have no doubt about that in my mind. 100% no doubt about that in my mind. Oh my god, all this land is so hard. I need to get this tile improved to get the boost and it's like can't move around. I should have stayed over here and done this one, I guess, but it wasn't we didn't own it at the time. Fair enough indeed. I uh The joke's funny for a while, Moondoggy, but then it just gets annoying as piss, you know? If we're being completely honest about it. Because I think I think we all know the reason I'm doing this, right? It's is to try and make more appealing content for my YouTube channel, and when people can't get behind that, it's like, why don't you love me? Uh, two turns, I can. I just found the fine print. Your next Prime sub will be available in 32 minutes. Ah, there you go. I've been enjoying your YouTube videos as I don't I get to catch you live often. Krieger Koenig, I appreciate you watching, bud. It means a lot. The, uh, the YouTube channel has been... Taking off might be a little bit dramatic of a uh of a way to of a, to way to state it but certainly doing quite well and uh it certainly feels good to uh to know that people are watching and enjoying the content as we continue to expand what we've got going on so thank you for watching um oh shoot oh no that's right i have i had to switch it out yeah that's right Ugh, god it's so annoying i want to be able to um i want to hit this guy with my thing on but i got to complete next turn i can finish this and i'll get a change out there we go they are they're well i mean you don't become you don't become Jeff Bezos by not being a sneaky bastard. <laughs> when I don't have a sub here and want to gift, it is totally trying uh, to get my re uh, me to resub. You have to work hard just to gift. Yeah, exactly. It, it says that even like when I sub, when it, whenever you sub, like when I like I subscribe to to Cringer um, and GM, and as well as you with my prime every time I every time I actually complete the sub it'll pop up hey you can share more uh click share to share more gifts and in your head you're just think because you just oh you just shared so many like um pictures or whatever right um like uh emotes share more emotes and then you click share and then it takes you to a screen where it wants you to um give more like to like hey now you've you've subscribed now you can gift subscriptions and then give more emotes and it's like they're just they're just giving you the super hard sell it sort of seems like youtube channels seem to reach a critical mass then boost like crazy while growing yeah i i agree with that um el nilio thank you very much for the uh for the follow welcome aboard i agree with that uh dwarfs are us um dwarfs are us dwarfs are best um, I absolutely agree with that. It, it does feel that way, like, sometimes how... I need to work this. 
change policies, turn on discipline, turn on production, and confirm policies. Because, um, yeah, it just feels like... The, 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 my YouTube channel, I don't know if struggle is the right word for it, but it just felt like it was, it poked along, was never doing super great. I always felt a little bit, uh, and I think part of it's, you know, I'm making a little bit better content and, you know, doing a little bit better stuff overall in certain ways. So let's pop that trader out. What does Kamasi want? Free Rider. But, uh, yeah, it feels like I'm just, my videos just seem to be getting found a lot more, if you will. Um, you can see in my, in your analytics, it'll show you how much percentage of your views come from Google or like either not Google search, but YouTube search. It'll say like how, how many people watch cause YouTube search. And it used to be like none of my videos ever seem to ever get views from youtube search and now it's like 10 percent, 15 percent, 20 percent of my views are coming from youtube searches and i'm getting subscribers new subscribers at a faster rate because of it um, it felt like the only people that were ever watching were people who were already subscribed to the channel and a lot of those people were people that came from here or just kind of bumped into me found me along the way over the last few years but it certainly feels Quite good. Um, yeah, let's go there. Oh my god, another recon unit. Did they change this game or something? All I ever get is recon units now. Holy Nifton. Like, I just take one builder. If I could get one builder from a goodie hut, I would be abundantly pleased. Um, here or here? Doesn't really matter. Let's just head here, I guess. It's unbelievable, Moondoggy. Uh, El Nilio, I'm back. Happy Canada, my fellow Albertan. Yes! Happy Canada Day to you as well. Hope you're uh, having a good one, bud. Uh, the worst children's store <laughs> of the 80s. <laughs> There's a children's store named Dwarfs or Us? Or, uh... Oh, because to you're talking about, like, equivalent of Toys R Us, you mean? Is that a Toys R Us joke? I don't know. I don't even know what to do with the scout now. Can't get in the water yet. I've, I mean, by the time I get anywhere, I'll have searched everything. Guess I can come out on this point. Game, please. I need to get some science going. <sighs> get a builder in here, chop out a campus. Uh, uncooked pillowcase. Uncooked pillowcase, alright. Are there such thing as cooked pillowcases? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, welcome aboard, appreciate you being here. Mysticism is the mystic. Alright. I'm gonna pump out a builder. That's not good. Oh, this bar pot's right there. I'm going this way. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to heal up for a turn. I don't want to get a really bad roll there and get smoked. Granada! 
I'll tell you... Oh, you know what the other thing I was going to mention, too? And we're just kind of coming up to the end of, of episode one here. We've uh, discovered our land, and things are going along just swimmingly, if you like lots of scouts. Uh, it's plus eight. Yes, exactly. It's plus eight. It's a plus eight campus. Um, so this this is actually the first time I've ever played on a map that is continents, island plates. So it's basically a continents map. So there's two kind of big continents like you normally see. But instead of having big ocean spaces, it's all kind of filled in with islands all over the place. And it's actually a really cool, interesting map. They're actually kind of cool. Obviously, I've transformed this particular area. Everything else on the map, I kept completely the same. All I did was take this area, which was... It was actually kind of a blob here and a blob over here. And I kind of expanded it upwards and made myself enough space to do all the things I wanted to do. And... Um, and that's basically all I did. But it's basically how it looks. There's continents. You'll see as we go on here, there's islands everywhere. And it's a lot of filled in space, but it's really kind of cool looking. Uh, it's really fun to play. Uh, the ring by Scout is East Previous to City. Oh, this here? Yeah, so this here is actually... Um, when, you, when you're making a map you and you place a city down, it, it makes a circle if you take the city away. So when I was making the map, I placed some cities around in order to kind of give myself perspective on ratio for like where to put to where to spread out and have the map go. And I actually deleted most of the circles, but this one happened. I missed this one. So this one's there. Uh, but when I was making the map, I was like, okay, I'll put, you know, you put a circle. There's a circle here as well, actually, where I was testing out where to put cities. Um, so I missed one there as well. And it, that's just a circle that remains from a city being there when I made the map. Well, I'll talk to you later, old dude. Thanks for being here, bud. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, choose a civic. We will finish off early empire. We're probably not going to get the district built in time. But when we get this builder out, we're going to come down here. We'll buy this tile. Uh, we'll actually buy it right now if we can afford it. Yes, we can. And we'll chop out that campus. In all of its glory. It's not going to be in time for the boost, I don't think. But it's fine. We're going to be okay with that. Send envoys. No. Next turn. Um, but yes, like I said, very soon we will wrap up. But it's changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future. Um... This is annoying because this guy is going to... Hopefully these Leventas guys can come and help out here. I actually got to start moving this guy in this direction here because... I'm going to come over here instead. This guy's going to hit here. Get a promo. Finish him off. We're probably looking at a standard age. I'm not sure if there's going to be... Oh, another goodie hat. What are the odds that we get a, bar, a builder in there? I have been begging for one builder the entire time and haven't gotten one. And it's absolutely eating me up inside. Uh, we have a governor promotion. What are we going to do with this bad boy? Science from Pingala, I think. Into Amsterdam. Scientific it up. Scientific America... Thank goodness for what scout? 0% chance of a builder. Chat's got faith, guys. Chat's got faith. Um, We're in here. Well, that's not going to get done in time, but it's fine. Scout 100. <laughs> All right. Scout 100. So we are going to run into a bit of a problem here. Because this is going to start spawning units. So I'm going to actually need to defend my people. Unfortunately. It's going to be experience promotion. Alright, did you hear that chat? Experience promotion. Especially on the guy who's already got the double promotion. This will be really good. Here we go. Oh! <gasps> Uh, 
I mean, Envoy is actually pretty good, but I could have used a builder so bad. Ah. <sighs> All right, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up episode one right there. Things are going pretty well. We've got a really nice pantheon. We're making a ton of faith. Uh, I don't know if there's any chance we get to a golden age or not. I, I mean, if I clear this... Actually, you know what? If I wait to clear this barb hut, it's an extra era score. If I wait, there's going to be one, two, three, four more turns, though. And I need to get over here to help, so that's probably not going to do... If I clear both barb huts... That's four more era skull. That puts me to 19. I am not getting a golden age, I don't think. I don't like my chances of a golden age right now. I don't, don't, don't like it. Which means we're going to be in a regular age, which is... Alright, we'll figure that out in the next episode. When we come back for the next episode, we will know whether or not, because... What I'm going to have to do is, you guys, as you know, these Embracing series, it's not 15 episodes. It's four episodes, maybe five. And we're going to have to get all the way out to guilds in order to get our, um, uh, what do you call them, polders. And do all the things that Wilhelmina can do. So we kind of have a bit of a wait before we get there. So we're actually going to have some space in between each video. Uh, so you'll probably be looking at the beginning of the next era for the next step video and then the beginning of the next year after that maybe so uh, We'll see you when we know if we got a golden age or not. I don't think we will. Bye-bye